I just got a sign from the coach. He gave me the hit and run. I acknowledge it. Okay? I put my mindset now to a skill. It's a hit and run. I realize that that runner will be taking off, and my job, if the coach gives me hit and run, I'm telling you this, that coach has complete confidence in me protecting that runner and hopefully finding a hole or a hole being created by that runner moving because the infielders are going to start inching towards the bag or being out of position. So he has total confidence in me. So that should give me some pride. I should feel good about that. I used to love to hit and run. Couldn't hit very well, but I could hit and run. I love that. So coach gives me hit and run, good. Action's going to create it. I'm excited about that because now, guess what? Everything in your mind is eliminated. I have to swing the bat. Again, different theories, but the only ball I do not swing at is a ball in dirt in front of the plate. I will let that go. Train yourself to let that go. I get up there. My focus is all I'm concerned about is hitting a ball on the ground. It's amazing when watching players, even some pro players, in practice, they'll try to swing up. How, how do you try to hit a ball on the ground swinging up? You got to swing down through the pitch, okay? My thought process is very simple. The runner goes, the ball's pitched, I can let it travel a little longer, and now I make sure I get my bet on top of that ball and work on hitting the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter if it goes to the left side or to the right side. The pitch will dictate where you hit that ball. Sometimes right-handers think, I've got to hit every ball over here. Now, the older you are, or the higher levels, sometimes you're trained well to hit balls to the shortstop side, if the manager or coach wants that. I can hit balls to the opposite field side, because you have to have those skills to advance. All things being equal, if you're a good situational hitter, you'll be able to play in the baseball game somewhere. So, I get the sign. I acknowledge it, I'm ready to go. I don't show any, any emotion with it. Same thing, go through my routine. Easy focus, mine's clear. I'm so relaxed up there because anything he throws, I gotta hit. So boom, ball comes in, I see it travel. If it's outside, I can drive it to right field. If it's inside, back through the hole at shortstop. And that's your mental approach to the hit and run Relax, enjoy it because you know what? That coach is confident in you.